Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to fulfill a request by one of my viewers and I'm going to demonstrate the brooch loop. The brooch loop is, in my opinion, a fairly decorative way of making a nice and secure loop. In many ways, it could be considered an alternative to the bowline knot. Supposedly, it's also about as secure. As you can see, the loop looks a lot like an eternity knot, which is definitely a plus. For tying the brooch loop, I'm going to grab a piece of paracord and the first part of tying this loop is exactly the same as in the figure 8 knot. So first I do a loop coming over the standing end using my working end. Then I'm going to pass under the standing end like this, then over the loop using my working end, so over 2. Using my working end, I'm going to pass through this opening here on the left, going under and through. This creates the actual loop that we can use to attach our paracord onto various objects. I'm going to continue by picking up my working end and passing it over to the right side. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to travel up and through this bottom loop, so under and through, And finally, I'm going to pass over the top using my working end and travel down through this opening here on the right. So the one just below the stop loop on its right side. And this is pretty much all you need to do to tie a brooch loop. To tighten it up, you first pull on the standing end, then on the working end, and then a little bit on the two strands in the loop as well. And what you get is a sort of a knot here that looks much like an eternity knot. But all in all, this is a brooch loop. So guys, I hope that you were able to tie this loop without too much of an issue. It's not as easy as the bowline knot, but in my opinion, it also looks a bit better. With that said, thank you very much for joining me and see you in the next tutorial.